something a little bit older. No. 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 <laughs> Too old. Hmm. Soon. Not tonight, though. No. What is this? Chiller. Man, it looks like an Iron Maiden cover. What does this gravestone say? Dead people are cool? That's not quite as cool as Number of the Beast, but, uh, whatever. Um, let's give this game a try. This game is riddled with problems. Yeah, it's an unlicensed game, but all of my other ones work. Other than that false start with dudes with attitudes, everything seems normal. Well, that's what I have this guy for. As you probably know, the original Nintendo had a lockout chip built into it. It was to prevent unauthorized games from running on the system, so games like this would have to do crazy things like short-circuit the lockout chip or other things to circumvent it. Well, when Nintendo released this little guy, they got rid of the lockout chip, so games like this now work a whole lot better. Well, this is a gun game, so let's get this thing plugged in. Now, let's talk a little bit about this game's problems. First of all, this is a terrible title screen. Is that someone screaming? Chiller for share data? What's that? The next problem is this menu screen. No matter what I try here, I can't get it to say one player and one light gun. For God's sakes! Whoa! Heads on spikes, a dead girl half buried, arms reaching from the ground, and a nun pushing a baby carriage? All of that is scary. Particularly that nun. And then there's this problem. I'm shooting at the screen and nothing is happening. Why isn't anything happening? What? I guess my gun could be bad. Let's try an old favorite. Well, the gun works. Let's put Chiller back in. What? Why is this working now? Because the gun was in the second port? Then why did anything work when it was in the first port? At least in Duck Hunt, nothing happens unless the gun is in the second port. So basically, this is an index finger endurance test. You blast almost everything in sight and try to find these talismans. If you get all of the talismans, you get a secret message. This is the graveyard. This is the hallway. Look at this arm. Help me! I'm stuck in the second floor dungeon! Bam! And then this dog comes along and takes the arm with them. That's kind of cool. This is the torture room. Look at that brown river. Do you suppose? Ugh. This is uh, the other torture room. The goal here is to shoot everyone's limbs and skin off. Oh, and this guy in the guillotine? Don't forget about him. Gruesome. 
Well, you think it's over, but no. Welcome back to level one. It's the same graveyard, and I don't even know if it's any harder. Hmm. <sighs> I'm pretty sure this talisman message just says, You have found every talisman. At this point, my index finger hurts too much to care if I'm wrong. Oh, my arm. What is this? This is Chiller. And Chiller was originally an arcade game. The plot for the arcade game is to kill as many helpless victims as possible, as quickly as possible. That's right, I said, helpless victims. These are people that you've apparently tied up in your dungeon, and it's your goal to kill them all as fast as possible. Think you can just shoot them in the head? No way, not in Chiller! The challenge in Chiller is to use your gun to activate various death contraptions. Shooting someone in the head just results in a chunk of flesh being blown away. It almost goes without saying that this game did quite poorly in the U.S. Apparently, it found some success in third world countries, according to Wikipedia anyways. Well, the two companies, HES and American Game Cartridges, decided to bring Chiller to the NES, but they made some changes along the way. First of all, the backstory has been rewritten. Instead of torturing helpless people, you get this backstory. A sinister presence has filled the castle with evil talisman. And those evil talismen have caused the dead to come back to life. If we can't release these evil spirits quickly, they'll mass into a giant army and take over the world. Creeping through the graveyard on our way to the castle. Half-chewed arms, skulls, gnashing teeth. Diabolical scenes greet us. Ever heard of how a person sounds in an Iron Maiden? Man, it looks like it's an like Iron, Iron, Iron Maiden, Maiden cover. cover. That's stupid. Anyway, this girl in the graveyard. In the arcade version, you shoot her clothes off. For the NES, they leave her clothes on. This looks like a kid, so killing a kid is okay, but naked girl in the graveyard? That's gotta be censored? Oh, look at this naked girl. I guess it's okay because she's strapped by her privates. In the arcade version, you could shoot the flesh off of these guys in the racks. And in the torture room, the NES version contains less body parts. So, those changes make sense, some because it's a Nintendo and kids play it, some because the Nintendo maybe couldn't handle the extra stress of nude scenes and body parts. But there are two more changes that don't make as much sense. The first nonsensical change is that the NES version plays the levels in the reverse order of the arcade. I guess the torture room is the most offensive, but why was this change made? The second change is that in the arcade game, this nun pushing a baby stroller was a monk pushing a cart of body parts. I gotta be honest, both are pretty offensive, but here's what tips the scales. You get to shoot a nun pushing a baby carriage. I mean, somebody at some development meeting somewhere had to say, you know what would be less offensive than shooting a monk pushing a cart full of body parts? A nun pushing a baby carriage, okay? I mean, at least with the monk, you could be like, look at that monk, he's pushing some body parts in a cart. But a nun pushing a baby carriage? Well, there isn't much else to say about the single player version of this game. You shoot as much as you can, sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. Be interesting to see what two player mode is like though. so much better no what are you doing what are you what are you uh, oh glasses of course glasses
Well, two-player is the same as single-player, except the screen flashes a whole lot more. And honestly, I don't know if two people playing could ever lose. See, wasn't that better than killing just me? I mean, look at all the people that we got to murder and torture and all that evil junk. Well... Well, it's getting late. Uh, I had a lot of fun, though. Um, it's not everybody who gets to say they spent Halloween with a crazy killer clown, am I right? Yeah. Um, well, we should get together next year. Uh, you got email? No? No, of course you don't have email. You probably live in an abandoned circus somewhere. Um, maybe next time we get together, you could just tell me what's going, what your deal is. What? Okay, well, um, I had a lot of fun. You found your way in. You, you can probably find your way out. Whole family trampled by elephants. Clown family suffocated in a Volkswagen. <laughs> Little sister, hopped up by a juggling accident. Yeah!